Hey, welcome back, everybody. And thanks for coming to the Mark and Tony Show. Our first guest this evening, a very interesting lady, Tony. Yes. Pay attention to this because she's kind of like a teacher type of thing here. Miss <laughs> Ruthie Darling, everybody. Give it up. Thank you. There you go. There it is. First now, of Tony. all, before you do, we do anything, I want to thank you guys. For? This is for having me on. Oh. Well, we thank you for and showing up. And, and I want to thank Sonny for making this, all of you making this possible because... You said before, there is so much talent out here. It's yeah. just mind-boggling. And I really feel honored to be included in this. Well, you know what? We're honored to have you. I know you're coming with a lot of books. First of all, though, before we get into it, I want you to tell this audience, I know we've talked before, tell us how you got that name. I was looking for a name that appealed to children. To make a long story short, I thought of the Peter Pan story and the darlings and I tried it out on the kids for a few years and everybody loved it and coincidentally I found out from a friend when I was visiting in Milwaukee which is where I grew up my mother used to call me Ruthie darling I'll be darned so it just this is just evolved Stuck. yeah yeah well very very good and I like it I, I, and it's a beautiful name thank you all right so tell us let's hit these books my first one. The whole story started out at the Children's Discovery Museum, and I would try things out. Okay, I and I said, you know, that is about nothing, and nothing is in everything. It nothing starts out with, there's a hole in my donut, and soon it won't be here, because when I eat my donut up, the hole will disappear. That started me. So this is the first book. That is the first book. Ruthie, how many pages is in a book like this? How long would it take to the read? The standard format is 32. 32 okay. pages. It's Average age for... You know, I, I'm glad you asked me that. Okay. I started out writing ages 2 to 7, but there is no age on the book. And what's happened is it has gone... Gary's heard me say this. It's gone from newborns to 100 because these are concepts that are universal and involve... Everyone, every community. I've had mathematicians buy that book. Really? Because of the concept of nothing. Well, let me open this book you know, a minute actually, here. Actually, Ruthie, I was going to suggest that maybe he start reading. <laughs> it's good uh, bedtime reading. It might be good, yeah. Might, uh, he's, got, he's, he's got a little sleep problem. So. Yes. Here it is. Well, what other lovely books do you have there? Pass them by. Here we go. Miranda. Oh, folks. She's bored. She leaves the zoo. Now, she ends up returning. Pandas are... Hey, can I see the book? Pandas are not... They're very sociable. And, it, and they're not nice. You don't want to get near them. You don't want to get near their claws. And what happens is she ends up returning. The concept behind it is, and you've heard this before, people look elsewhere when everything they need is in front of them. What's bigger? What's better? What's faster? What's slower? And when she's entering the zoo, she's thinking to herself, nothing is new. And you know what? Sometimes that's the best of all worlds, is when everything is nice and steady and even. Less is more. Well, i got to tell you, you got a couple of winners. Keep them going. I'll tell you what. Pa okay. Pass it to Tony. Show it around, Tony. I don't even go. know how I got this. I, I said I wasn't writing any more stories. You have to understand, I have 75 stories on my hard drive. <laughs> yeah. And my, my issue is getting them getting them illustrated. She want, Zoe is two. She wants to change what she looks like. She cannot move her stripes around. She can't erase them. So she decides to leave the zoo. Goes into town. Her mother does not know what the answer is. And they end up visiting various places. To make a long story short on this one, there are three concepts in this. All of my books have concepts, actually. Learning to accept and appreciate yourself for who you are. We're all a small part of nature's designs, and beauty is from within, and we live in a very judgmental society. Oh, most definitely. These books are, the I mean, timing if, couldn't you know, be better. You know, if you don't dress the right way, if you don't have the right shoes on, I have sandals on. If you wear eye makeup, Tony. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. I'm never going to live this one down. <laughs> this, is my la this is the latest one that I uh, have, and that is... Let me see that one. Moonbeam. 
That's so nice. she visits a little boy and <laughs> he asks her about her long horn. And her answer, which is universal, is it's the way I was born. And we're all different, every single one of us, including identical twins. Oh, so, really? Even identical twins are different, huh? Very the good. DNA, Very good. The DNA? Yeah. So thank you. The fingerprints? Yes. Yeah. Very now good. I have two more coming on. I'm really excited about it. I wanna, okay. Can I share with you? You please yeah, share. Yeah, I had a question pleasure. because I noticed every book has got a different animal. Okay. No, they're not all animals. Yeah, not okay. all animals. Okay. okay, now the next one is... Yeah, I didn't see all of them. My Angel Watches thought... Over Me. And it's about okay. a little girl who gets an angel when she's born. So I try to switch off between boys and girls. Okay. And it's for, in this particular order, it is for the have-nots and the haves of the world because the have-nots have got to take precedence. And the angel follows them, if you believe in angels, which obviously I do. I think a lot of people believe in angels. I think so, too. I think I, more now. Oh, uh, in well, these we times, need them in these times, for I sure. Think, I believe that. Most definitely. But the angel is not a girl or a boy. It's an it. Okay. And the reason for it is because when it ends, it ends with whether your angel's a he or a she, it's as perfect for you as mine is for me. I like that. I like that. Very, very, very good. Very I like these concepts you come up with. This is I, very you good. You know what? You know something? They're all accidental. I don't even know but, how I ever even did but this. But those are the best concepts when, they, when they're just pop into your mind. Well, then, then following that, because that's going to come out at the same time that wonderful comes out. Wonderful, okay. you know how you spell wonderful. My wonderful is apostrophe, O-N-E, apostrophe, D-E-R-F-U-L. A little girl has an ant farm. Her father comes along one day and says, what are you doing here? She's watching these ants marching to and fro in a very long row. Yeah. And you know what's going on today with climate change and everything. And she's telling him, she said, look at these ants working together as a whole unit. And if yeah. you've ever stopped to see this, and I haven't, but somebody told me about it, they can carry a branch, these little teeny ants. They know how to All work together. together. They know how to work together. Yep. And you know what? That's what this is about. We need to work together as a whole unit to make planet Earth a place that is better. Very, very well put, Ruthie. Yeah. Ruthie. 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 Are you sure you're not a politician on the side, yeah, Ruthie? I was, just, I was just thinking about it. I don't that. have thick enough skin. <laughs> so in, in regards to that, that type of situation where the ants work together, have mm -hmm. you ever thought of writing a book like that involves bees? Because they do the same thing, basically. They work well, together you know on Jerry the Queen Well, you Jerry Seinfeld has one out. He had the movie out. Yeah. And my next one is The One Stop Adopt Shop. Oh. That's being worked on now. It's called The One Stop Adopt Shop, More Than a Cat and a Dog and a Frog on a Log. And it's about shelter animals. Wow. Well, I tell you, you got a lot of things, no pun intended, buzzing up in your head. <laughs> I do. I love it. You oh, know boy. what? I, I've reinvented myself. You have. Mm -hmm. You have. Very totally. good. I mean, I went from teaching school to selling Medicare supplements, so I went from serving olders to babies, but the babies, like I said, have evolved from newborn baby shower gifts to 100. I don't think she's alive anymore, but I got that far. I'll be well. there. And I, when I said mathematicians, mm -hmm. are teachers teaching negative space to their students? I mean, this is just, I was on Dan McGrath's show, on oh. his radio show out right. here. Yeah, we know, right. was we going know him on. very well. And I had been on several times, and he used to say to me, you know what, you could write a story about what has happened with the whole story, because it's just taken on a life of its own. It sure has. Well, I, I have to tell you, Ruthie, it's always a pleasure to have you on the show. Oh, I love it. Your books are fantastic. We thank you as always. Your pleasure to be with. Thank you. So, thank you. Please, everybody, stay tuned. I was going to have Ruthie sing a song, but Ruthie's did so well explaining her books. I'm going to have Tony sing a song. You know what? I'm ready. If you had me sing a song, they'd leave. Yeah, well, they will for Tony, too. <laughs> thank you, everybody. We'll be back.